Project Wild has a start growing into an opportunity for schools to go out and un undertake serious projects that help our science, help science of uh, people who need to know more about wildlife. We l want as many citizen scientists as possible to collect good scientific data that will help our wildlife science, our habitat science, help us make good management decisions about, our, about how we manage wildlife. But I know it also helps the schools with their math and science lessons that they need to teach. And in fact, it's going to help students become more interested in, in science. The work that we do with Project Wild is called Nature Mapping. And Nature Mapping is a program that we, uh, it's a cooperative program between state resource agencies and the University of Washington. And the data that our citizen scientists, our students collect in the field, goes to a public data set that our scientists and, and the public access to understand where wildlife lives where we live. And this is something that we as scientists can, just cannot do alone. We need the help of people living all over the state to tell us what lives where they live. We have several goals for this type of work. One is that for the science of the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife, we'd like to know whether we have good habitat out there. We don't have the, the resources to do measure the habitat and bringing seven, over 700 students out to the habitat area to undertake uh, to measure those transects is a tremendous amount of work to help us analyze whether that's good habitat for western gray squirrels which have disappeared, they've been extirpated from the area science that helps us make good management decisions for the future of this area. This is real world learning for math and science and social studies at schools. It makes makes the science real. It's uh, they are measuring the the height of uh, the the uh, circumference of trees to then calculate diameter. All of this is good math, good science. When you have a bunch of kids in the classroom and you show them stuff on paper or in book work, they'll go through the motions. They'll do it because they think that's what you want them to do. A lot of times there's no real connection with the real world. But when you get them out here, they're already motivated. You can you see that from watching them work. They enjoy what they're doing. And they're actually learning as they're doing. The, the stuff that we have them doing out here um, is something that's transferable to real life. They're using reading, they're using art, they're using scientific method, and they're learning about the, the stuff around them. And you can watch them as they're writing in their journals, as they're taking data. They're real excited about what they're doing. And that's, that's learning that's gonna stick.